Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another gameplay objective card to review today and it is going to be the new Amiri card. So we are taking a look at a card that is 511, a medium, medium work rates, right footed, five star skills with a three star a weak foot. In regards to his in-game player traits, he has the outside foot shot trait, which is definitely very nice to work with. Uh, he is a five star skiller, three star weak foot. Okay, while well, being a right-footed player who is 5'11". Okay, cool. So he's got 97 acceleration for base card stats, which is really nice to work with the dribbling, hopefully, in-game. Uh, with his 81 sprint speed, the Shadow Chemistry style will be boosting that up to a 91 as well. As you guys know, I always feel like cards play mostly to their base card stats than they do with the Chemistry style. So very important that his acceleration is as high as it is with the dribbling stats that he has. Hopefully he has... A cool body type. Let's see what it's going to be in game because the rest of the stats on this card actually looks unbelievable. So let's see. He has an average body type. Okay, so cards like this in the center mid CDM position, it's perfectly fine to have an average body type when your dribbling stats are like that playing through the midfield. So I'm totally cool with that. His base card stats for shooting is phenomenal as well at 86, 86, 91 for shot power with 86 long shots and 80 composure. This card looks really nice for a midfielder. Uh, base card stats are passing. Also very good on the card. You don't have to necessarily look into that too much. The dribbling we will be experimenting with in-game in regards to responsiveness because he is an average body type with those dribbling stats. So that's the type of stuff we always have to check out. Again, guys, very key thing, very huge key thing here is the fact that he has 97 acceleration, okay? For base card stats. We're going to see what that's going to be like in game. Uh, base card stats for defending is set up perfectly so that if you give him the shadow chemistry style, he actually has some pretty solid defensive stats. So hopefully uh, he defends really nicely as well. Uh, with his physical, for his last stats here, we've got 82 for strength and then 96 for stamina. So the card definitely looks very interesting. Medium, medium work rated players for me. Um, I mostly use in a three midfield setup, but I'm going to be trying out this card in a two midfield setup, three midfield setup, so we can test out the Roussillon card at the same time. So we're going to see what this card is going to be like in game. But we are going to be using him in two different formations. One will be the 4 1 2 and 2, so we can test out Roussillon over there while Amiri plays in the right center mid position um, on the instruction of cover wing so just basic we don't touch anything on this card um, and then last but not least we're going to be using the 4231 where he'll be playing as um, a cdm in the team with the instruction of stay back while attacking cover center for both of the cdms so uh, we'll play like this we'll see how he plays in game hopefully he is a beast nice goal right there we'll take that Good stuff, good stuff, man. Amiri scoring that opportunity. Let's go. Guys, this card's dribbling is actually super nice. Oh, man. Skill must come off really fast, too. That might be sick to work with. Not bad, man. He even does the uh, double elastico really well there. That was kind of sick. Hmm. He has really good uh, defensive presence too. Whenever I lose the ball back, he actually goes back pretty quickly. I mess with that. Like, is this is this him right here? I think that is right. Nice. It was him. That was beautiful. Man, I wish someone... Oh, what's happening? Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I didn't even trigger that run with him there, and he just kind of like made that run himself. Guys, he feels very agile, man. That's like the first thing I'm noticing with the card. Very agile. Left and right transition is very smooth. 
on the ball, he feels great. What makes me happy is that this is on a shadow chemistry style too, and he feels like this. Oh man, I wish they didn't do the uh, the chain thing there. That sucks. The extra emphasis on the roulette is going to push that ball out. His defensive awareness is great, man. Guys, just give him a shadow. He's actually going to perform well in the midfield position. It's pretty cool. It's definitely going to be mostly in that uh, three midfield setup for sure. But yeah, he's, he's impressed me. He's playing better than... Uh, I thought, because it's because of the media, media, man. That, that worked great. It does throw me off a lot, but... Yeah, it doesn't seem to matter too much with him. Oh, the block there. Always got to get that extra block right there. Do you guys see how fast his dribbles come off, man? Like, he's very smooth on the ball, man. Wow. I'm telling you guys, man, this card in a shadow is going to be really nice to use. 100%. Look at where he's positioned from the CDM position, guys. He has really good defensive awareness. Like, he actually tracks after people so well. His marking is like, it's like he's a medium high. Look at this guy. Look at the way he's, look at the way he moves in the midfield position. That's amazing. Look at this. Oh, what a ball too, man. What a ball. Oh, I hit the post there. No way. Come on. Oh my goodness. This card is dirty, man. This card this card's actually dirty. Like he's actually dirty. Oh, I almost got the timing there, right? For the uh, Croquetta. Guys, his skill moves are so silk, man. Like, super silk. Look at this. Look at this card, bro. This card's crazy. This card is... This card is insane, bro. Guys, in that game, I literally switched him. Because of how good his defensive presence is, I switched him like this. Uh, I took off stay back while attacking. I told him to get forward, but he comes back anyways. It's so much fun to use his card. Like, he's actually wild, yo. Woo. Even the shots are just snipers. Like, what? Oh, Rusilan being a beast. Love this guy. Let's go. Sorry, I just, I, I had to just, I had to just keep dribbling with him. I had to. Vanessa? Bro, what am I looking at right now, guys? Oh, he even does the, yeah, this card. EA did something to this card. Hey, yeah, they did something to him. Of course they did, bro. They did something to this card. Because there's no... There's just no way. There's no way. Uh, bro. Look at this card, bro. It, this, card's, this card is like one of my favorites. I'm not even joking. Oh, 
Dude, I, I wanted to take that small touch because I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see how he would shoot off of that small touch. And he still, still hits it like a monster. Look, I'm not even, I'm not even pressing the controller right now. Look at this. Look at how he's positioned, bro. I did, I did not even hold the controller. Jeez, man. I, yo, I, I'm screwing up some of the skill moves, like myself, bad choices and stuff. But he's he's rapid. I like I, I don't know how else to explain it. Look, I just I just committed this guy on the attack like crazy, and he's already in the defensive positions. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Samiri card. Honestly, this card's cracked, man. This card is cracked. And it kind of makes sense. It does. It makes sense with him. Because as you guys know, I always tell you guys, bro, base card stats in FIFA are such a big deal. And the fact that he has 97 acceleration with high dribbling stats to work with the average body type. The defending surprised me. There's, there's, there's no explanation for the defending, the way that he marks players on the pitch and everything, because he doesn't have the base card stats for it. Although... He does have base card stats of 88 interceptions. And then, obviously, with the Shadow Chemistry style boosting the defensive awareness to an 83, it could be very helpful, to be honest. Like, it could actually make a lot of sense. I think he's cracked. I think, uh, to be honest with you guys, this guy is one of my favorite cards to use this year. 100%. He's really fun to play with. Five-star skill moves come off really fast. His left stick dribbling is phenomenal. His shooting comes off great because he's got the 91 shot power with 86 finishing, 86 attacking positioning. If I use him in a three midfield setup or in a two CDM setup where I have the other CDM being the medium high worker to player, the card's going to be great in that uh, position as well. Base card stats are passing works perfectly fine for this card. He's got 96 stamina, so this guy is going to push up and come back from the pitch like a monster. He doesn't even feel like he's a, he's playing on medium, medium work rates. He seriously feels like he is playing on high, high. It's so weird. He even does the... He even does the freaking shooting animation to like... Like, not bend them, but to really put the power behind it, you know? The two strikes that he did were sick. There's so many variables that makes this card amazing. I really thought the medium, medium was going to screw him. And it, it's, it is usually the case with most of the cards in FIFA, in my opinion. But this card, it's not, man. Holy, this card's moving. And it's, it's funny because when I was doing the review for Rusilan, just from the first attacking play, I'm like, yo, this guy's kind of fast, man. You know? Guys, if you guys are going to get a gameplay objective card, get this guy. You know? Link him to your Lars Bender or your Sven Bender. Or if you, or if you got both of them, put them both together. This card's unbelievable, man. Shadow Chemistry style, he's absolutely cracked. It's one of my favorite cards to use this year. I'm not even joking. He's so crazy. This is, you know why he's one of my favorite cards? Because he's a gameplay compensator. If my gameplay's not to par, boom, 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 quick. You know? Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you, I'll catch you guys for the next one. This will be my last video for now. <laughs> I'm really tired. Uh, this guy literally woke me up. Like, he woke me up because of how sick he was. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys for the videos, okay? Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.